What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Connor Ben. Get this Connor Ben suggests that Vada is the reason for his failed tests. Reports have emerged that Connor Ben or Connor Ben's 270 page document to the WBC claim test contamination as the explanation for his positive test results. According to The Sun, Ben's team believes contamination by Vada to be the cause for returning two failed tests last year ahead of their fight with Chris Eubank Jr. He says, quote, he has sent the Mexican sanctioning body a 270 page document Sun Sport understands will ex explain the contamination of his sample by the voluntary anti-doping agency as the cause. <clears throat> ben went some way to confirming this by sharing a story on his official Instagram account that contained the quotes from the Sun article. OK, as you guys can see, um, I'm not going to read it all. Uh, but Suleiman at the bottom told the boxing voice that he can fight. He is free to fight and he is not in any way suspended. Hmm. OK, <clears throat> and the WBC president also said Suleiman said he stated that he can't respond on the speculation due to legal implications. He did, however, reveal the boxing voice that Ben is currently free to fight. Hmm. He said the WBC is going through the process. We received a document from his team. This is not a matter that can be simply resolved with sympathy or saying X, Y, and Z. We have to go into the facts because there are legal implications. We will have to talk or we will have to take all the time necessary. Huh. Let me counterpunch. Um, <clears throat> that's got to be some hellified coincidence. Having two contaminated tests at two different times last year. You know, um, I know people mess up i know people make mistakes uh, i know people make mistakes more than once but you ask yourself how often is that normally made what are the odds of that and <clears throat> with connor ben you have to look at connor ben different now because connor ben's like well it's your guy's fault and then mauricio suleiman to me people has always been shady okay and he didn't confirm or deny. He just said, we cannot talk about this because of legal ramifications and all that, right? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. My question is, how did they prove it was contaminated? You know, um, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but... Mauricio, whatever happened with the lawyers, they must be some powerhouse lawyers because Mauricio saying he is free to fight. He is no way suspended. So there had to be something that cracked open that they revealed that Mauricio done wrong or Vada that is uh, hired by Mauricio done wrong. You know, and for them to just say that like, hey, he's free to fight. They didn't even do that with Dillian White bars so you know and then that was like one sample was okay and then the other one was whatever like contaminated or whatever because i think that was the same reason that they had contaminated um drug test or whatever the, the drug test was contaminated some type of way or whatever so it, it's just it's strange to me that he can fight it's strange that mauricio's not saying anything uh Obviously, those lawyers of Connor Ben must have Mauricio by the ball some kind of way because he's not saying any. He's not saying yay or nay. He's not saying anything. He's just saying, hey, you're free to fight. OK. And two different tests that came that way. Um, it had to be some type of breach of protocol in order for them to get that thrown out or to get that type of response from Mauricio Suleiman. 
You know, it had to be something like that. But if that's the case and they're deeming themselves an incompetent, they need to find another way to drug test besides Vada. Because if Vada is making these type of mistakes and putting people's uh, name in the mud and people in the shit house, they shouldn't be used. Because people take that very seriously because this is boxing. This is not baseball. This is not running track or anything like that. This is boxing. You know, and I'm glad to say, knock on wood, that there's not been anybody that test positive for something that actually killed somebody in the ring. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Connor Ben blaming Vada for his two failed drug tests. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.